What's up guys, ready for another weight loss journey video? I know I am. Um, let's go ahead and talk. Let's roll it. What's up guys, Big Wrestling 7 back at you with a real quick video. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, because, um, I really didn't know what to do. I didn't know what kind of video to make. Um, the weight loss journey's been going up, had its ups and downs, but it's been going pretty good. Um, pretty much staying, you know, right where I need to be, uh, and continuing to lose weight and, uh, continuing to work out, continuing to do all that stuff. So, um, so I decided, uh, a friend of mine asked me a question. And uh, I go, you know what? This sounds like something that would be a good que uh, question to put as a video. So, uh, I know there's probably some comments in the past videos. And I'm probably going to go back and look at some of them. Uh, I know there's been some uh, some comments in the past that people have left. Uh, that might make for a good video or a good content uh, for, the, for the weight loss journey. So, that's what I might be doing for some of these weight loss journey videos. Um, because sometimes you can run out of things, uh, you know, you, you really having a hard time thinking and, you know, sometimes someone say something in the comment that goes, Hey, you know what? I should reply by video for that, uh, comment. So I might be doing that some, um, anyways, he asked me what was the biggest change, um, in my eating lifestyle. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I used to do keto. Uh, I was huge on keto. I was a big advocate for keto. I was, I would, if you would ask me about keto, I pushed it. I loved to talk about keto. Um, so the biggest change has been, I've got away from all that fat. I, you know, I started sitting back thinking, how healthy is it for someone my size, someone who has health issues, to be eating all that bacon? And, and they tell you, you can eat all the bacon you want. How healthy is that? And I started thinking, all that red meat and all that other junk that they were, you know, yeah, sure, the carbs are gone, but what about all that other stuff that you were having? So, the biggest difference is, I'm eating uh, some carbs. Um, I've stepped away from all that fat. I've, bacon, it, I don't eat it no more. I, I mean, I'll do turkey bacon from time to time, but I don't eat very much bacon. Uh... For breakfast, I don't eat regular eggs very much. I eat a lot of egg whites. I, I, uh, you know, I will have regular eggs from time to time, but more egg whites. And I'm eating overnight oats uh, in the morning time. Breakfast has always been a struggle for me. Um, I'm not the type of person that gets up in the morning and says, hey, first thing I'm thinking of is breakfast. I'm the type of person I get up in the morning and first thing I get is my coffee. Um, and that's it. And I will skip breakfast. And sometimes I'll skip lunch. Sometimes the only meal I would eat in the day was dinner. And it was not healthy for me. I was not getting the stuff I needed in my system. And uh, that changed. But I still wasn't eating healthy enough. And uh, then I went on keto and um, still skipping breakfast. Would have lunch and dinner. But I would skip breakfast a lot. So yeah. So one of the biggest differences. Uh, I'm eating differently. Um, the egg whites like I said. Uh, you know. Um, today actually, uh, so I'll leave a picture right here. I made an egg white omelet. Uh, my first time actually making an egg white omelet. Uh, when I got to making egg whites, uh, this is my, you know, I know I don't usually eat egg whites, so it was all new stuff. But I made an egg white omelet today for breakfast, and it was delicious. Um, but I've learned that carbs are not my enemy. They're not the thing that I should be banning for my life. Um. One of the things is learning portion control. I, I now uh, I now uh, meal prep uh, meal dinners, and uh, it's taught me a lot of portion control. I see. I never overate for breakfast because, like I said, I don't eat very much breakfast anyways. And I'm lucky if I get breakfast. I never overate lunch. I would go get me a uh, go get me something small for lunch, and I was good. Dinner, I would always overeat. So we meal prep for dinners, and I've learned how to portion control that a little bit. So uh, that's good. Um, those are some of the big differences. Another huge difference is, 
it's a lot more ground turkey, uh, ground chicken, or chicken breast. Uh, doing a lot more grilling. Um, I, I have an indoor grill that I got right after the fire. Someone gave it to me. Um, I'll throw it on the indoor grill, a chicken breast. Flip it, do the whole works, cook it up, season it up really good. Um, I was raised around a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Mexican families, so I love uh, like the the Mexican seasonings. Uh, there's a carne asada seasoning that I use sometimes. Um, I really love that stuff. But um, yeah, I do grilled chicken a lot now. I do um, ground turkey for my instead of hamburger meat. I go with ground turkey. Now, don't get me wrong. I still have my red meat from time to time. I'm not. I haven't stopped that. But I don't eat it as much now. It has changed. Um, a lot of habits have changed, and that's the biggest difference, really, honestly, um, in, in in this uh, this cha this lifestyle change I've done with how I eat. So, hopefully, that answers your question. Uh, again, that that question came from my friend uh, Mike. I don't even think I mentioned that earlier. Um, I've I've done a video I think last week for him too. Uh, he asks me a lot of questions sometimes about my weight loss journey and. I don't have a problem asking, answering. I have a couple other people who write me messages and ask me every once in a while about how it's going, what I'm doing different, stuff like that. So I might be using some of their stuff if they allow me to. Um, but I love that. I love coming here and talking and, and sharing with you guys my journey. Uh, because this is my journey. Uh, it's not your journey. It's not their journey. It's not anyone else's journey. It's my journey. And it's a journey that I've had to take and a step I've had to take and a step by step process and uh it hasn't been easy at all times but uh i'm gonna continue to move forward to keep pushing so don't forget to keep pushing and i'll catch you guys on the next one this is big bear i'm out of here don't forget to uh cherish every moment uh cherish your loved ones um you never know when it's um, be the last day uh i've seen some stuff happen over the past few weeks um some really close people to me have passed away um, some people I've, I've admired and, and loved and cherished in my life. So, um, you never know when it's going to be last. So, call your friends, call your loved ones. Let them know how much you care. Love you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good juicy stuff. And we're out until the next uh, video. Peace.